This is the oil pan from the shit horse. We're gonna take it to the shop and we're gonna put it on the wire uh, EDM machine. We're gonna take this section out of the pan. It erodes it away with little, if you will, lightning bolts. You're gonna film that or? Yeah, I'll, I'll take some clips. <laughs> So here we are, I've got a uh, truck LS pan, this pan's actually off the, uh, the shit horse, um, we're cutting it short too because uh, as you can see here it's the uh, lowest point on the front end of, of the shit horse so it's, it hasn't broke or cracked yet but it's, it's close. We're at my place of work now here, we're using our wire EDM uh, machine to trim off an inch and a quarter of the uh, sump. EDM stands for uh, electronic discharge machine. It uses a 10 thousandths thick wire. Basically it just feeds from top nozzle to the bottom nozzle at a predetermined feed and voltage settings for the particular material you're cutting. The wire comes on a spool, it's brass wire. Um, so I've already made a cut here. So this is my first first cut. I just measured it. Uh, it's a bit of an angled surface so I thought for taking an inch and a quarter uh, that was the best place to remove it from because when I take that inch and a quarter out of this area it's, uh, it's on an angled surface here so the bottom half will join back up nice and square with, with the ex uh, existing surface. This machine is, is submersible in water and uh, that's that's about it here. I'll, I'll start the uh, start the next cut here and uh, when I'm ready to start cutting I'll see if I can get another video for you. So the wire's in place. I moved it over uh, an inch and a quarter. I don't know if I said an inch and a half before or not, but cutting this one an inch and a quarter. This machine cuts anything from anything that conducts electricity, basically. So carbide, uh, graphite, aluminum, steel, doesn't matter. It cuts it. And just gonna hit start here on the screen. I'm going to do a 10 inch wide cut. So yeah, I mean a guy could do this with a cut off blade. Mark, mark, scribe a line, mark a line, whatever. Cut it all the way around. But the, the, the plus side of using the EDM is you're going to have two mating surfaces that uh, are going to butt up nice and tight, make it nice and easy for Rob to weld up. Yeah, this cut's probably going to take uh, about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. We'll tune uh, back in when it's, when it's done. While we're waiting for that EDM to cut, I might as well show you some of the other stuff uh, I get to play with during the day. This is our MX520 Matsura 5-axis mill. X, Y, Z, A, and C. That's full rotary table. Uh, C-axis. A-axis. This is our Nakamura NTRX 300. This is a turn mill machine. It's basically a lathe and a mill all in one. There's no tool in here at the moment, but uh, you could put a turning tool in here and use it as you would a typical lathe. Or you can also put a milling tool in here and use it as a is a milling machine, if you will. Full five axis capability. Pretty fancy machine. 
something else we do here, which is pretty neat, we do 3D metal printing. Um, this is just a simple, this is actually a GoPro camera mount. This is printed out of, uh, feels like stainless steel. Stainless steel, titanium, Inconel, cobalt chrome, miraging steel, uh, to name a few. Pretty, uh, pretty neat technology. Here's a job in, uh, in process, just to give you an idea. Basically there's a laser up top that centers the powder together. And when it's done each layer, it lays a new layer of powder down and builds the next layer. Pretty cool stuff. Down another layer of powder. Starting at the bottom where you can't really see. We'll be close to the uh, end of the cut here. And second now. Getting some uh, prep welding work done. This is the shit horse pan, not the S10 or the anything else. It's not any pan. of the other L's. It's too many L's as well. And because it hangs low on the shit horse, obviously it's. Like I'm surprised it didn't rip off already. I know I bought all the shit out of it. It's got some witness marks on there. Definitely seen some. This one's brutal. We don't want it to be the lowest part. So I cut that much out of it at work. An inch. 1.25 inches. That sure cuts it nice and smooth. And then that's going to go... That's going to go like that. <laughs> Perfect. What is up everyone? We are back at RFG working on the S10 today. Uh, as you saw in the last video, I got all the firewall welded up and then I fiberglassed all over the welded up spots and smoothed that out. So now it's ready to uh, start on the body work. So my plan for today, at the beginning of the day at least, is to start adding some body filler to those spots and then sanding them down and then we'll see what else uh, we get into. So let's get to it. All right, so I mixed up some body filler. Um, I like to use uh, Rage Gold, this stuff. Uh, one of the local body shops around here also sells their own brand. Uh, it's a premium body filler and honestly, it's worth the extra money to me because the cheaper stuff, the stuff that's like gray in the can, it dries really hard, so it's really hard to sand. This stuff I can sand it with like 100 grit, where that other stuff has to sand with like 40 grit. So you're gonna go through more sandpaper, it's gonna take you longer. If you put body filler on and you leave it on there and you come back the next day, it's gonna be really super hard to sand where this stuff is not. It's like double the price, but it's honestly really worth it. There was a patch put in here before, and so I put some fiberglass on it, and it's cold in here, so it's not really drying good. So I had this propane uh, heating it up. It's uh, pretty warm in here, but down on the ground it's really cold, so I'm just trying to like speed up the drying on that one. So. Uh, I'm gonna sand this stuff and then I'll show you how it looks and if it's gonna need a second coat or not. I cleaned it. I don't no do it. Mustaches. All right, so I got uh, all this body worked here. All these spots turned out really good. Only on this one right here did I have to add a little bit. I mean, it's kind of pointless because none of this will be able to be seen when it's all together. And here, this will all be covered, but I just wanted to make it look nicer before I paint it. What goes here? <sighs> That's where the throttle cable goes. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And so now I put some filler on this one. And then when it's dry, I'm going to sand it down. So I should have this firewall in shape, ready to be primered up uh, pretty soon. What are you doing there? Black? Just black, yeah. Yeah. Nothing to say, Mike? <laughs> 
I just saw Clayton's videos there. So proud. <laughs> proud. All right, so I got the uh, first coat of the heater area sanded down. As you can see, in some spots it looks not too bad. In other spots where it's dark still, that's where it's low. So I'm going to mix up another coat and uh, smooth it on there and then sand that down. And hopefully, hopefully two coats will be enough, but we'll see. All right, so I got a second coat on about half of it. I mixed it up and that's all, as much as I mix up, that's all it would cover. So I'll probably sand that a bit and then I'll put a coat on the top too. I'm also, as the, I'm waiting for body filler to dry, I'm starting to pull the front end apart. I uh, got the brake calipers off, which I'm going to try to sell. They're chrome plated. Uh, I got a new brake system coming for it. Uh, I'm switching it all up to uh, 2000 Camaro LS1 style brakes, like 12 inch rotors and uh, dual piston calipers. You have to modify the spindle. I'll show that in another video on how that, when I get all those parts and how that's going to work. So that should be pretty cool. I haven't seen any how to videos uh, to do that yet. So. I will definitely be doing that, but I'm knocking the whole front end apart because I'm going to clean and paint everything and uh, paint up the frame and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to start sanding that and then I'll start knocking the front end apart and then uh, yeah, I'll come back. I got another coat on the whole thing now. It's looking pretty good. I also got off the tie rods, the steering box, all that stuff. I'm going to pull the spindles off next and then the control arms will come off and the airbags will come out. And then it'll be down to a bare frame. And then I'll take a bunch of that stuff to the car wash, get all the grease and dirt off. Then we're going to clean all that stuff up so I can paint it. And anything that needs to be changed, like any of the ball joints or anything like that is suspect. I'll change them too. But I'm hoping by the end of this weekend to have the firewall maybe painted, at least primered up and ready to be painted. Uh, and then the frame, I still have to weld up that one hole where I cut for uh, frame clearance over here. I have to weld that up still. I'm hoping to get that done this weekend too and maybe get the frame cleaned up really nice so it's ready for paint. I really want to get this kind of stuff done so that I can get started on the engine. I'm going to order the valve springs right away. I already have the cam so I want to get the engine going and get it in the truck soon hopefully. I'm going to sand this now and then I'll come back and show you how it turns out. So I got pretty much it all done. There's only uh, one spot there and a little spot there that I had to add a bit to. But as you can see, that looks nice and smooth now. And then I threw some primer on the other small spots. And I also got the whole front end apart entirely. Only thing I haven't taken out yet are the airbags. I got to pull those out. So this stuff will be all ready to start cleaning up, getting it ready for paint. I'm going to sand these couple spots now. And then I'm going to sand this whole area down with some finer grit. And then uh, throw some primer on it and then we'll see how it looks with some primer on it. So I got her all primered up. It looks really good. Here it is. Put about three coats of primer on. And then I'll uh, sand it with some like 220 grit. And then maybe give it a couple more coats of primer. And then uh, all over the whole firewall, I'll sand the whole firewall with like a 220. And then uh, I'll reprime it maybe once more. And then it'll be ready to get painted. I also got the airbags out, so the entire frame is now stripped down so we can be cleaned up and painted and plus fixed, weld up that one spot. There's all the front end parts which need to be cleaned up and painted and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so that'll be it for this video and uh, I hope you guys liked it. I know maybe it was a little boring uh, just doing body work, but it's got to get done. So like usual, like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, check out all the uh, other videos. We have lots of cool stuff. And I'll check you later. Don't slam the fucking door. No more.